Flight is magnificent. It has been out of human reach for millennia, teasing us as it was something beyond our capabilities. Yet the mankind wished to fly among the birds, and this wish has finally come true. In 2019, over 8 million people fly daily. The figure is mind-blowing, however, the sole process of flying on an aircraft is impressive. So, what is the physics of flight? There are four main forces that affect an aircraft during flight. Weight, lift, drag and thrust. We are able to fly because thrust and lift overpower weight and drag. In the horizontal flight phase, these forces cancel each other out and by Newton's first law, the velocity is kept constant. Now, let's get a better understanding of each of these forces. To start off, weight. The so weight force affects absolutely all objects, including aircrafts. The Earth pulls on objects with a force downward to the center of the Earth, regardless of the direction of the movement. Generally, there is an almost constant gravitational force on plane during takeoff, flight, and the landing altogether. It is clear that weight and lift oppose each other, so in order to take off and fly, lift must overpower the weight. This experiment shows how lifting force occurs. So in this case, we took the table tennis ball, and this table tennis ball stays afloat because of the air molecules hitting it from the bottom. So the amount of air molecules below is greater than the above and this uh, creates the pressure difference between the uh, bottom and the top sides of the ball. This kind of principle may be used in a real situation with the real aircraft. Uh, for example, the wing of the aircraft due to its shape may redirect some air molecules and this creates the pressure difference between the bottom and the top side of the wing. So. In the top side, it will be greater velocity of air molecules. So this pressure difference multiplied by the surface area gives us lifting force. Another aerodynamic force affecting an aircraft is drag. So first of all, to introduce drag force, we need to define what drag force is. Drag force is the aerodynamic and mechanical force that is applied to an aircraft. Uh, direction of drag force is opposite to the motion and magnitude related to some factors or subtypes of drag force. And first type is uh, skin friction drag force, which related to the uh, properties of solid and gas. And second one is form drag, uh, that means uh, that is related to shape of an aircraft and third one is induced drag which uh, is related to uh, lift force that means greater the lift force the greater will be the drag force and let me show you some example with solid object like an umbrella and our air particles will belong here so uh, we can keep uh, we can give some momentum to umbrella by giving the velocity and this will change the shape of umbrella uh, and this can be example of, of skin friction drag force and form drag force. Last but definitely not least, thrust force. Thrust is the force which makes aircraft to move forward. To produce thrust, we need so-called jet engine. The engine sucks air with a fan. Once inside, the compressor uh, raises the pressure of the air. The compressor is made up of fans with many blades. Once the blades compress the air, in combustion chambers, the compressed air is then sprayed with the fuel and the electric spark lights a mixture. The air becomes hotter and faster. The burning gas expands through the nozzle at the back of the engine. As the jets of gas go out, the aircraft moves forward. Jet engine operates on the application Newton's third law of physics. It states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. That's why to produce high thrust we need to make the exit velocity very much greater than the incoming velocity. There are three stages of landing. Planning, parachute and run. When planning, the pilot calculates the landing site. To do this, the pilot manipulates the equipment that is controlling speed and the slope of the planning path. Just before the landing, parachuting occurs. At this stage, the lift force is equal to the weight of the aircraft. Plane touches the ground with the main gear wheels. After this, plane smoothly lowers the nose wheels and starts breaking the main wheels. Here, the friction force is the main one. It is clear the high efficiency is achieved by reducing the magnitude of drag because the less the drag is, the less fuel is needed to fly. The different concepts that have been presented are potential ways to reduce drag. The turbulent skin friction drag reduction by the use of riblets, the hybrid laminar flow technology, the innovative wing tick devices, for example, winglet with an inclination of 60 degrees, the shock control and trailing edge devices to adapt to flight. Despite these inventions, further research must be done on drag reduction because nowadays it is the strongest barrier for our aircrafts.